around the world some cautious high fives today in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. That's right. A team of scientists moved one step closer in the quest to create a safe and effective vaccine. KPX 5's Ken Bastida has the details. From the World Health Organization in Switzerland. We congratulate our colleagues for the progress they have made. To Bay Area experts in infectious disease and public health. This is additional good news. Very encouraging news. Some promising results with an experimental vaccine. This one is developed by University of Oxford and the pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca. We have found that in over a thousand people, the safety profile looks rather good and reassuring and importantly we are seeing good immune responses in almost everybody. The vaccine does more than stimulate the production of protective antibodies. Okay. It also triggers the production of another essential part of the immune system, a type of white blood cell called a T cell. T cells spot infected cells in the body and then destroy them. The fact that this vaccine seems to stimulate both T cells as well as antibodies, that's very exciting. If we're candid, we'd have to say we're not sure which arm of the immune response uh, is going to be most important in giving us clinical protection. The side effects included fever, chills, and muscle pain. Researchers saw the strongest immune response in 10 people who got two doses. As to what's next? The next phase is going to be really important in telling us whether um, this is going to be something that we can use in the real world. A much larger trial involving 30,000 people from around the world begins soon. The goal, to provide evidence that the vaccine is effective. Until then, hunker down and do the drill. Wear a mask, practice social distancing, and wash your hands. It may be that the vaccine is going to come riding over the hill like the cavalry but we just can't count on it right now. now. The U.S. National Institutes of Health has invested $1.2 billion into Oxford vaccine. If it's successful in the larger trials, and that's a big if, as you both know, it may be deployed in the U.K. by September, in the U.S. as early as October. Veronica?